Hey, good day everybody. How are you all doing today? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had a great week. You got Lyle Assas Shaver here coming to you for your weekend shave video. I'm very excited for today's shave. Um, I've been waiting for this product for a while and it was coming. I did get to try one of the test samplers, but it wasn't the final product. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm extremely tired, but I'm extremely jazzed and excited to do this and to use this product. So for today, I am using Highland Springs Soap Co. Eclipse. We got the full trifecta set here. The soap, the splash, the balm. Just very, very excited for this. Um, Chris and Mary over at Highland Springs are salt of the earth people. They're excellent people. Um, and this soap is their first try at a tallow base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a couple big firsts with this soap for them. So if you look at it, it's very shiny or shimmery, which I hadn't seen before, which is pretty cool. It's soft. You can push into that pretty easy. Sorry, I'm going to the finger there. <laughs> Got a good strong scent strength off the top. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely strong. Um, good thing in my opinion, especially for the type of scent this is. Um, to me, this is like a cologne type scent. We'll talk a little bit about more of that about that as we go. Got it spread here, my thirsty badger shave bowl. I am going to be using today, let me shake this out here, my Coyote Cuts, Mad Hatter and Lime, 26 millimeter Luxury Manchurian, 3 band Manchurian, it's excellent brush, excellent knot, I'm one of three that I know that have it. I'm just going to put some more water here into my uh, Stormtrooper cup for adding water to my shave if I need it, so sorry about the noise guys. We're going to start getting this lather going. So I hope everybody had a good week. Everyone's doing well. Um, if you pick this set up, let me know. Very interesting to see what everyone thinks about it. And uh, oh my god, I love it. And already the sense of developing off the puck to me was kind of like a, a dark dark cherry, something like that, like a dark fruity scent, um, or dark flowery maybe, but fruity I think is more right, dark cherries, dark, dark cherries, blackberries, maybe something around that area, that's why I got off the puck, but it's developing a lot already, as soon as I put the water to it and started lathering, it's opening up pretty quick, uh, oh, there's a huge list of this guys, um, I can't do justice of all the notes on here. I'll just list them all for you. Um, I could try to read some of them off. I got a big list here. Uh, they say the top notes, bergamot, dried fig, carnation, mimosa, cedarwood, heart notes, cocoa, white rum, blonde tobacco, Russian leather, narcissus, narcissus? I can't, I, I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Pink pepper, bourbon, geranium, and lavender. Base notes, benzoin, sandalwood, civet, Food, amorous, citrus, and black musk. You hear my kids playing in the background, sorry. Um, their description says it's dry down and this really emphasizes the scent complexity. Like the moon slowly passing in front of the sun, it darkens over time, leaving you in the shadows of the eclipse. I can see that. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This is my first shade with it. This is my initial... Um, Initial thoughts. I mean, I did get to try a bit of a tester before, but it wasn't the final base. Uh, I had the scent in it too, but it wasn't this strong. They've done a good job with this. I like some stronger scents in my den. Um, so I know this is a bit controversial with some people, but Chris did commission uh, APR to come up with a scent. He wanted something very complex, uh, which he's not used to doing. And uh, he asked him for a dark winter cologne. 
type sent. That was the only instructions he gave. I think he's there. This is definitely to me. Um, everybody's when people have asked me about this on my mail call posts and that. It's definitely a cologne category scent. It's amazing, in my opinion. Um, it's got the approval from my wife and my daughters. So that's a good thing because this is never leaving my den. I don't, I don't care if they liked it or didn't like it. This one's staying. <laughs> but it's mixing up real nice here, guys. Look at that. So, yeah, this is their first forte into tallow. This will be a long video, by the way. I'm not rushing this. Um, they decided to try out tallow, and they decided to go whole hog. They render their own tallow. Um, they did buy pre-bought tallow to test against it to see what they thought of the feeling, how they, you know, performance, the look, the feel, the product, everything. Um, they definitely prefer how this has come out for them. Uh, they do render the tallow multiple times before it gets used in the process. Their idea, the whole idea is to get rid of the animal smell and to get rid of a lot of that. Sometimes you get some soaps that have a greasy, oily feel to them. Uh, they didn't want that either. So I had some good discussions with Chris about this. Um, read a lot of notes on his release page about it. Um, like I said, a discussion before it was released too, I knew it was coming. So I'm very excited to be making this video and to be using this product. I always think it's awesome when an artisan spreads out their wings and tries something new, like going from an amazing vegan base, which I have a lot of Highland Springs products, guys. I do love it. Um, there's no, no secret. Um, but to try into, you know, reach into new customer bases and spread their wings and try tallow based people who maybe don't like vegan for some reason, don't want a vegan base. And you think about it, there's a lot of really good tallow bases out there. So, I mean, I give them good props for doing that. Here, let me pull this right out. I think I'm going to start here. Probably take more water than this, I'm betting. But it's looking pretty good. We're going to get this going. Because I am very excited to get this going. <laughs> This is a nice, nice scent. Oh, it smokes. I really like it so far. We'll see how it continues to develop uh, throughout the day and you know, after the shave and everything for the dry down. But so far, all I can smell is the scent now. It's taken over. Um, I think it's got a good strength. It's a fairly strong off the puck. I think it's staying strong you know, during the shave or during the lather period. Look at that. If you watched my videos before, you know I like the lather. I think hydrating the whiskers is the most, one of the most important things. Getting a little exfoliation of the skin here too. And uh, oh, just enjoying the process guys. Like This is our time, so make sure you enjoy it, don't rush it. Sorry about the color change in there again. I haven't found an app I like that'll keep a constant color in this bathroom for some reason. I may have to throw a lap in here or something, I don't know. It annoys me, so I can't imagine how it annoys you guys watching the videos. So I'm sorry about that. I don't want to overhydrate this. But I got a lot of soap here.
and I just kind of feel it can take more water. You know, that's too much though. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, I'll try it. I'll give this a shot for the first pass. It feels really nice on the skin. The scent has definitely evolved and I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. You know, the complexity of this one. Um, I don't really pick out a lot of the individual notes here. My uh, schnoz is definitely not a, you know, fragrance review or schnoz. But I know what I like, and I'm enjoying this. I could probably play with that lather for quite a bit and enjoy it, actually. <laughs> it's 11 minutes in already, and I haven't put the blade to the face yet, guys. Sorry, but like I said, this will be a long one. I'm really going to enjoy this. My blade for today. I don't remember if I used it on YouTube yet. It's a Frederick Reynolds. It's about a, oh, about a quarter hollowish, I do believe. Um, it was given to me for a, by a friend of mine. He does a lot of my restores on my razors and everything, and I sent a razor in that I found, and he thought it could be restored, and he felt bad when it, it just wouldn't hold the edge. Uh, so he sent me, he had this blade kicking around, so he made this handle for me and sent it to me. He didn't have to. I mean, that's what happens when you buy a used razor. Sometimes you get burnt, but he felt bad. So we're gonna go with the grain here, guys. This is about seven eighths in this razor too. Oh, nice slickness there. No issues with that. Actually, I haven't used a straight in a very long time. This is my last straight video uh, with a straight razor. Just been so busy. And I've been wanting to show other razors also on the channel, not just my straights. Like my pal injector from last week. So far it's doing very good. This is the tough area for me to shave or with a straight with any razor pretty much. But it's doing very well. Uh, I did strop my razor a little bit different this time too. Trying not so many strokes. try to touch up pass on the strop before um, against the grain. It was recommended to me before and I kind of forgot about that and I want to get back into trying that. Feeling good. Good slickness out of this. I think I could have added more moisture to it actually. Oh, my is nice. No issues with this at all. Very good performance. Very good. Look at that. 
adding uh, more water to this probably would make it even better. I don't think I had it quite right. Oh, this sounds good. Doesn't feel greasy. Doesn't feel oily. Just feels nice on the skin, very nice on the skin. Not heavy either. Sorry, I was just looking at my kids play. And my one daughter, you don't see how high she's gonna jump from. I was like, oh, do I have to run out there and intervene? But my eldest did. Don't need anybody getting hurt. And I'm gonna try to cross the drain, guys. No issues with that. I'm pushing a bit hard here. I think I can feel it. The soap's doing great. Can't protect me from my own stupidity. Can't get a grip. <laughs> it's nice, I couldn't get a grip there to stretch it. It's good residual. I'll dry my hands off a little bit more. Do cross grain on my neck is almost impossible for the straight to be like ah. I'm just gonna do another with the grain. Oh, got myself pushed too hard. See. So what happens? Getting too comfortable already. I haven't used a short straight in like two weeks and I did that. That was a little idiotic of me. Sorry. Just thinking about what I'm doing and listening to what those kids are doing too. Feels good. Very nice. You know what? They're, they're having fun out there, right? Sorry for the noise. <laughs> Feels very good.
That was a nice, I had like a little pimple there or something that I took the cloth off of, but I'm gonna add a little more water to this for the final pass here also. And I just wanna see how I can push this. I think, like I said, I think for these first two passes, I've had it a little under hydrated. It was looking good though, it was doing great. So I just wanna see how far I can get this to go. Very nice scent, guys. Like I said, I wish I could explain this better to you. I'm very, very looking forward to wearing this all day. And I want to see what the dry down is like, how the scent changes. And I'll be asking my wife periodically all day to see what she thinks, if she can still smell it, if it's changed on her. She's kind of my nose tester. I think that's good there. Okay. Draw my hands off here. dry my blade off because as I mentioned I'm going to take this back to my straw for a quick 30 passes you can give me one second all right we're back I might fast forward for that part for you guys. It's uh, not saying anything, right? Let's see how this goes. So I haven't done a three pass with the straight in a long time. Can you just do the three pass for me? I want to really sit here and enjoy this though. Um, like I said, I really like the scent that's going on here, how it's evolving. It's a manly, I call it a manly dark cologne scent, but it's got a brightness to it. It's gotta be coming either from the floral or citrus that's in it. I can't quite figure that out. So I'm going to do against the grain. Sorry, right, you're my tummy growl in there, maybe. Getting close to lunchtime for me. A little bit of redness, I think. I mean, uh, a little rusty with the straight. That extra 30 laps has made this super crazy sharp for the uh, against the green. I'm trying to be very careful here, I can just feel it.
I did myself a couple times a shave though. Oh, feels like a slick on the fingers. <laughs> Great stuff. Oops. All right, <clears throat> well, a few weepers today. Um, it's okay though. Soap did very, very well. Great, excellent slickness is what I'm gonna say. Residual, everything. This performed very well. This is their first tallow. They did an excellent job. Wow, it feels good on the skin too. So, uh, a little hair there, I don't worry about. That's all pretty good. Always. <laughs> I think that feels good. Well, let's see if we can get that. I don't know if I'll get that off the street. The angle's just pretty tough. I sliced myself just a little bit right there, trying a little bit of a very slightly a slide motion there, see if that helped get that area. We'll see. So overall, man, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I did get myself some weepers so far, but whatever. Not the product's fault, it's the operator's fault. And I'll leave it, it's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna do a final cleanup. I'm gonna do the hot pass, the cold pass, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, just a quick hot water pass. A little hotter than I wanted though. Cool water pass, as cold as I could get it. Um, do have some weepers today though, holy smokes. But operator error. Skin feels nice though, feels moisturized, doesn't feel tacky. Um, so far, the post feels really nice on this, which I mean, I'm not shocked. Chris and Mary really focus on that too. Yeah, it's excellent feeling. So, um, <clears throat> that's what I had left. So, get that. It's pretty nice. Feels good in the hands. Good slickness like that too. Nice scent, guys. Very nice scent. 
Good sound strength left there too. Still too, it's been like half an hour. Damn, it's a long shave, sorry. <laughs> but I'm not either. Really wanted to enjoy it. <clears throat> I almost didn't do the shave on video. I just almost wanted to do my first impressions just for myself to take how much time I wanted to enjoy it, but I figured I'd do a video with it. So, Match and Splash, Island Springs, Eclipse. This is Witch Hazel based. Oops, too much, but whatever. As always, I will put the ingredients up. Definitely it starts off brighter for me than the soap did. Let's see how this dries down. If it goes darker on the dry down, or if it stays a little brighter. Very nice. It feels good on the skin. Uh, no sting, nothing. It's a very nice feeling. I'll let that dry for a second. Got a few weepers though. I'm not a happy camper about that, but it's my fault, like I said. Oh, it feels very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the balm. This is their new formulation of balm. I've used it once before in the Havana Veja. Um, Scent profile, it's uh, witch hazel based, heavy on aloe vera juice, pomegranate oils, rosehip oils, rice bran oil, calendula, uh, silk, vitamin E, licorice root extra extract. It's also vitamin E in the soap, guys. I thought that was very cool. I had to figure out what the one ingredient was. So, let's see if I can do this. Oh, there's the first. There's one pump, one full pump. There you go. It's pretty clear, light color, definitely liquidy, pretty thin. So I'd say this is complement, not quite exactly the same as the splash. Um, I'd say it's complementary to the splash. Obviously, the medium is going to change the scent a little bit, but it feels really good. Both are absorbing pretty quick. Um, it's such a nice stink. <laughs> Probably the wrong word to use for it, but man, oh, I, I quite like that scent. So, I really like the scent. You can see I definitely got some redness today. Not a fault of the product. A fault of me pushing too hard on the one pass and probably shouldn't have done the cross the grain with the straight. I normally don't. But I still enjoy the shave, even with that outcome. So, I got to use my pro this product. I was very excited for it, guys. Like I said, I really, really wanted to do this. I'll probably be using this all week. Um, I just love it. I love the scent. I love the performance. I think it competes with pretty much anything in my den. Has awesome skin feel. All three products go together. Um, you know, the scent evolved. I can't really describe it properly. It's from a darker, fruity sweet scent all the way up and became like a really sophisticated cologne scent. Um, the splash started off brighter than the soap and the balm. Somewhere in the middle, I think. They all come together. And I'm, I, I think I'm smelling awesome. <laughs> Find out what my wife says. So for the review, and I'm sorry I haven't cleaned this stuff up, but I have my Thirsty Badger Lather Bolt, my Coyote Cuts Mad Hatter and Lime 26 millimeter Manchurian uh, Luxury Badger Knot, my Frederick Reynolds 7 8 I think it's a quarter hollow uh, straight razor, and the Eclipse Trifecta. The new tallow based soap with the Eclipse set profile in it. Hope to keep making this base. I know Chris said it was very difficult. Uh, a lot of extra time to make this versus the other, but I think it's worth it. He's getting some great performance here. No animal scent, excellent performance, you know, great slickness, initial and residual. And the post is awesome. Everything else you're seeing in the blood, that's all this guy. And the post products, the splash and the bomb, both which is all based.
By the way, I do have to say, I love that label. I love it. I think it's cool looking. Eclipses are cool in my opinion. And I like how they uh, work the name into the profile description and everything and give you an idea where it came from. Yeah, that's already dry, guys. No, everything's in there. That's perfect. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, watching my super long video today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions about any of the products, about Clips, Highland Springs, Coyote Cuts, my brush, my straights, whatever, leave them down below. If you just want to BS, leave your comments down below too, please. Um, your subscribers, thank you very much to all my subscribers. If you become a new subscriber, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you can get to 200 fairly soon and I can put a giveaway together for you guys. And uh, have a great weekend, everybody. I got to get out of here. Yeah, my wife and I have to take my kids to dance classes and everything. So happy shaving to all of you. Take care. Bye.